Welcome to another cheating story. Today, we present a gripping tale. My fiancé cheated a year ago and she got pregnant too. My fiancé, Kate, and I have been together for 10 years since we were 14 in high school. We were each other's first for everything and are literally soulmates. She is my best friend and we have watched each other grow and achieve things we never could have imagined. We are incredibly fortunate as we stand today. She is the only woman I have ever slept with and I am hers, or so I thought I was. About a year ago, she confessed to me that she had slept with someone else when we were about three years into our relationship. At the time, we were both going through some things, but I had absolutely no idea about this. She says it was only once they met in his car. The thought of this made me feel sick. I didn't know how to cope. I hated that someone else had felt her in a way I thought only I did. I remember, at the time, she had renamed one of her contacts on her phone to another name, and I now realized this was him. What I would give to know what really went down. Anyway, I did not know how to cope with this, as we have grown so much and accomplished so much since then. We are inseparable, caring, attentive, supportive, and well, madly in love. I decided to forgive her, as what we have now is too much to throw away, and despite all this bullshit, I believe that we truly love each other. Fast forward to the present day, and I just feel guilty every day because of my thoughts. I want to make it clear that I am deeply in love with Kate, she is my other half. Without her, I could not function, and I trust her fully, I always have. Although, the cheating swayed that for a short period, I proposed to her shortly after, as I felt like she was a different person nowadays. I am in no way a perfect partner either, I just want to make that clear. I feel guilty because sometimes, I really want to sleep with another woman. That sounds so shitty, awful, and disrespectful, and it pains me to write that. The thing is, though, had Kate never cheated, I don't think I would have ever felt this way. Up until I found out, I was happily content and have literally been loyal this whole time. I only think that she has experienced someone else, felt what it was like to be craved by someone else, felt what it is like to be intimate with someone else, felt the excitement, the chase, the emotions. I would like to think her experiences reaffirmed to her that I am the one and that is why she didn't leave me. I don't know. All I know is that I definitely do not want to leave her. She will be an amazing mother one day, a super wife, and we have an untold, deep, energetic, and focused bond one have never witnessed before. Even when I think about everything I have, I just wonder, what do other women feel like, behave like, look like in intimacy, how do they feel to touch, to cuddle, to be vulnerable with? Kate is an amazing partner. Literally, if men knew how she was, there would be a cue. I would give anything to see her happy forever. There has never been a day where I didn't want to come home to see her, never. It's mutual, too. If I'm gone out of town for a few days, we can barely cope, we miss each other so intensely. We have a mate. She is beautiful, the most beautiful woman in the world. I am so lucky. I probably could never go through with actually cheating on her. I would hate for it to get back to her and she feel the way I did. We have grown so much since then, it would be harder for her for sure. We're both grown-ups now, aware of what we are doing, and there are no excuses. I cannot do that to my love. I find myself tempted, and if I knew she would never know, well, I can't say for sure I wouldn't. I am strongly willed, so I know this will never happen. First update. I just wanted to clear up that Kate did not confess. I was on her phone when the other guy messaged her and said he couldn't get her off his mind after all these years. Then, she started spilling. At the time, the guy did reach out to me, but I was made to believe it wasn't true, and I'd blocked him. Kate had also changed his number in her phone to another name, but had some excuse at the time which was believable. Now, I obviously know. He was telling the truth, and I should have believed him. I sat down with Kate and told her how I felt. At first, she did her usual cagey thing, but then I said, I will definitely leave if she doesn't talk at all. Then it started flowing. 
He initially messaged her on a random night after she put up a post about her being sad. He asked if she was okay. We had bickered about something very minor that day, but for whatever reason, she decided to let him in, and well, they had a short relationship over messages until they met and had... They met purely to fuck. That was the plan. She'd turn her phone off and tell me her phone died whilst she was with her best friend. They did everything. That was hard to hear, very hard to hear. She kisses me with that mouth. Shit. After that, they continued to message and exchange explicit photos and slept together about another five times, sometimes at her house in her bed, sometimes in his car. So, it wasn't just the once at all. I'm in pieces at this point, it's a can of worms I did not want to open and wish I hadn't but am relieved at the same time. I think she is still trickle-truthing me, I feel there may be others after him. It seems so easy for her. I told her I wanted to sleep with someone else and she couldn't understand why I want to do that. She said she was young and she never did it again and would never do it again, that she has lived with a tremendous amount of guilt up until now. That guilt has shaped her to be a better person and partner. She said it would break her heart to hear of me sleeping with another woman, how ironic. She doesn't want anyone to have the privilege of experiencing me. If I'm honest, finding all of this information out has made my desire stronger, probably mainly out of anger. It is hard for a number of reasons. We have always had a great sex life, we both have a fair amount of kinks, and have always been fully desired and explored these. She always comes first and is always happy. I am happy with that. So it wasn't because she wasn't satisfied. She said it meant nothing, but of course it did. You don't do it more than once if it meant nothing, right? She said she did it because it was exciting and it made her feel alive and he made her feel good. Her family are also like my family. They took me in as their own. My family were abusive and I had a pretty traumatic childhood. They are like my parents. I know I will lose them too. They will always stand by their daughter and I understand that. They don't know about her antics and I will tell them about it soon when the dust settles between us. I stand to lose a lot here, an awful lot. As does she. I'm struggling to come to terms with losing everything we have built, worked hard for, and achieved during our relationship. We have created our dream lives. I never thought as a kid I would be as fortunate as I am today. Part of the reason I feel fortunate is because I have her, I don't know, if I still feel that way now. So, an open relationship is off the cards, and I am more hurt than when I started. I should have kept my mouth closed and soldiered on, but as many of you were kind to point out, my idea of my life at the moment is a fallacy. It is, it is built on bullshit. Material things aside, I don't think I have anything. I can feel she loves me, she shows me in every way every day. I don't know if I will be able to reciprocate that now. So now I'm even more fucking confused because after all of that, why do I still love her? I will be talking to her tomorrow about where we go from here. The only reason I didn't do that today is because, truthfully, I have no idea where we go. I want her, I also want to experience what she has, but also, I don't want any of that. My inner child has been crushed and my adult self is in disbelief. And now for the second update. I woke up this morning to Kate crying, sobbing, and overall in a horrific state. I asked what was wrong, as she just kept repeating how sorry she was for everything that had happened, and that she understands this changes everything. I asked if that was the full and whole truth, as that is what I needed to decide where we go from here, and she said there was a bit more I needed to know. There have been two other men since, both just one while she has been on a night out, but she says she did it to make herself feel worse as some sort of punishment. I asked who they were. I have seen pictures, and oh my, I did not see that coming. These were handsome, built men. I have always been confident in my appearance, but fuck me, I didn't need this. The last time she saw the man was three years ago. Whether we are at the whole truth now, I don't know, I have asked. I fucking hope so. So, I thanked her for her honesty and asked she gave me her engagement ring back. I made it clear we will absolutely not be getting married anytime soon and at the moment, I need time to think things through. That leads me on to this next part. I called her parents. I explained what she had done. 
only for her mom to say, oh goodness, I told her to come clean about this years ago. Well, that was it, I lost it. Have I been the running fucking joke of this family all these years? They have sat and watched while I have splurged foolishly on their daughter, and given her this fucking dream, all whilst knowing she has been unfaithful to me. She first told her mom when she began her affair, and her mom confirmed she ended it when she got pregnant. As we always used condoms, it is a safe bet it was his baby. Her dad has flown off the rails, mainly because he thought I knew about it and I didn't. So, I think he is semi on side. Although, he did mention that, I shouldn't leave as too much time has passed and that if I did, I would be turning my back on them too. Honestly, I've told my PA, I won't be in this week. I'm going to take some time to process this information. I have made contact with one of the ONS and I hope to hear more about what actually happened. I feel like a bitch, I have given my all to this woman. Every single bit of me. She has given me lie after lie and taken all the handouts I have offered. The audacity to tell me I can sleep with anyone else, how rich of her. Why I still love her, I don't know, I hate her right now. I don't even know, if I do know or love her. I think my best option is to leave and get therapy. If I do that, I will be left with nothing but material bullshit and money, but I guess at 25 it isn't too late to start from the ground up. If you love this story and crave more tales of love, betrayal, and healing, don't forget to subscribe for more from Cheating Stories.